family and school in mourning after an Attleboro High School senior drowns while on his family vacation. Nick Vero's teammates on the track team are honoring him. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us now live in studio, new in 530. Yeah, guys, Nick Vero's mom says Attleboro High School and the community as a whole have been wonderful. The track team wore ribbons in his honor and there will be a moment of silence at the football game Friday. In a tuxedo and tie, this is a picture of Nick Vero on his way to prom. He was supposed to be a senior at Attleboro High School this year. Oh, God, he was such an awesome kid. He really was. He was so awesome. He was on the track team at school, a big brother at home. He was the biggest goofball. And he was a brat, too. <laughs> so competitive, it was ridiculous. His mom, Lindsay, says they were on a family vacation in North Carolina this past week. Before the flight back, Nick wanted to go in the water one more time. He loved to go out there and jump the waves. He's done it for the last three years. Why would I think anything different? Lindsay says he was only waist steep, but was hit by a wave. All of a sudden, it, just, it was like he was just in the middle of the ocean in two seconds. I heard him scream help. I ran in, a wave knocked me over, and... I think I saw his head maybe one more time. She says rescue crews looked for hours. Her uncle dived in and had to be rescued himself. He's in the ICU. It was all just kind of in slow motion. It really was just in slow motion. It still hasn't even really stopped. Every time I close my eyes, it's still there and it's always going to be there. As Lindsay grieves her son's death, she wants to share a message to other mothers. Put a life preserver on your kid. Like, even if they get mad, who cares? put a life preserve on them, hold their hand. I don't care how old they are because they're gone in a second. Nick's funeral will be Friday at 11 a.m. at St. Vincent de Paul. Lindsay says it's open to the public. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.